hello guys welcome to my new video of my channel in this video I'm going to talk about how to work with 3ds max layers for that I have opened a max file scene from evermotion arc exteriors so by showing an example it will be very easy to learn to how to work with layers so I have opened this file I have opened a simple exterior file of a villa and some trees around it and a small site around it where the villa is located so i'm going to enable the layers option on the top of the toolbar it comes here called toggle layer explorer so if i will click it it comes as a big window either you can stack it on the toolbar or you can put it outside on the open interface as so that you can drag and drag and place it anywhere you want and I will make it small and I will be placing it the right side so that I can see the file and I will control with the layers. So it's it's very important that uh, those visualizers who are working on a professional way, I recommend to work with layers because that is a very good way to organize your files and advantages by working with layers. So 7-8 layers created in this scene. So what we are going to do in this file is we are going to organize these uh, objects into their layers by we are adding trees into the layers of trees we are adding building into the building layers so let's see how we are going to do that now we can see that there are many objects uh, located in different layers what we are going to do first is first we will create a new layer for trees there is an icon called create new layer which is a plus icon and the orange stack okay so we had created a new layer by clicking the icon so just right click and go to rename and we will rename it as uh, trees so we had created a new layer called trees uh, just i want to note a thing that there is an icon called lock cell editing which is a form of a lock so if you by mistake if you will click that you will be not able to edit anything on your layer so if you want to rename this layer uh, you may find that you are not able to rename this layer so just click this just disable this lock cell editing so you will be able to uh, rename this layer into trees so you have created we have created our new layer called trees so what we are going to do so you can see that left side uh, there is an arrow mark for other layers that means that when you click that arrow you will be expanding that layer and we can see that all the objects um, in uh, which are we can see all the objects in that layer so and the layers which we cannot see the arrow which means that that layer is empty which means we don't need that layer and we can delete it so as we created a new new layer called trees and we can see the arrow because we didn't add anything in that layer so we will be selecting our trees so let's say <clears throat> we are selecting all of our trees in the file and we are adding into that uh, new created layer so one thing i need to tell that so when you are uh, selecting objects one by one so you can see that that objects is been expanding in whichever layer it has been created so you can see uh, wherever it is so which may which may this may make difficult to navigate through the layers like for example if you will click all the objects in the scene so it will be exp it will expand all the layers and it will be tough to select whichever which layer you want to move or something like that. so in order to avoid this what you want to do is uh, in display option there is an option called auto expand to selection just turn it off so that next time when you select an object it doesn't expand the layers which it has been placed into so so like that we will select all the trees uh, let's click all the trees and i am pressing ctrl shift a to select similar to select all the similar trees so let's see so we have few more trees here i will just drag it and press ctrl a and there are few more trees remaining here so let's say i have kept some one or two trees i will add i will add later in the layer right now we had 
selected some of the trees and what we have to do we have to make sure that the newly created layer is been active how to understand that which a layer is active so you can see there are gray stack icons placed here and there is a green stack icon so the green stack icon in the layer it's called as an active layer so make sure that you need to before uh, before uh, moving into the layer make sure that you need to make that layer active by clicking that icon so that it will make it will make sure that the layer is active so once you make sure that the layer is active you need to go here and press add to active layer so once you press that you can see that arrow has been formed at the left side and if you will click click that icon you can see that all the trees we have added into the layer so if you will turn off you can see all the layers have been hidden so and what all trees are remaining just click it select those trees one by one and you don't need to click on that layer to move into the layer because if you will click that layer after making the selection you will be out of the selection of the trees so i will undo once again i will i will undo once again i will select the trees and i will just click add to active layer it's not necessary you need to click that layer before moving into the layer so just make sure that you need to click on that gray stack icon to make it active by making it green we had created a layer for trees so next we are going to create a layer for site site and surroundings so same way <clears throat> so instead of creating a layer and selecting all the objects and moving into the layer you can do it by first selecting all the objects first selecting all the objects so i had got almost all the site surrounding so once you have selected all the site surrounding layer so just click create a new layer so automatically it will come to the new layer and it will be added in that object so we had created a layer for site surroundings and we will be adding to that layer and if you will hide and unhide you can see that it's getting off and on and finally let's create a new layer called building and select all these building and we are going to add to active layer <clears throat> so now you can see that we had created a new layer new three layers so the first layer is building the second layer is for site <clears throat> and the third layer is for trees and some of the trees are been hidden here i will just unhide it so when we created three layers you can see that the formerly existed layers you can see that the arrow mark has gone and it means that those layers have been empty those layers are empty and you can click those layers and you can right click and delete it and one more point to tell you can't delete a layer directly which has object in that layer so if you try to delete the trees layer you can't delete it if you want to delete that layer uh you need to right click and go to left side you can see delete layers and all children so once you click that you will delete all the objects with the layer itself so you can undo it so that's quickly how we will work with layers so make sure that this is a professional way of working so make sure you uh organize your files with uh bring the layers so quickly i will tell what all uh these things uh, on the right side you can see of the each layers you can see frozen option so if you want if you will click the uh snowflake option you can see that the object is been froze and you cannot select it so if you want to froze the cat plan while working you can uh create a new layer for the cat and make it freeze so that you un uh, by mistakely you don't want you don't want to move the cat plan so you are, you can you have an option to freeze the layers you have the option to make it renderable by clicking this tape out option 
and you you have a, an option to display as box so if you have heavy files and everything if, in order to work if you want to work faster you just click a display as box so that you don't want to show it as meshes and make your file heavy so that was a quick tutorial quick explanation of how to work with layers so i hope you have liked this video and i will be coming with more tutorials in my next videos if you are liking my videos please like and subscribe my channel and support and give feedbacks and comments and how to improve my channel so let's see in the next video thank you